Okay, this little tip takes you through how to set up the Outlook synchronization with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Say for example, if you wanted to use the uh, capabilities in CRM, if I go into the uh, contacts for example, you'll see you've got the ability to add uh, Outlook uh, contacts. Now to set this up, you need to go to the uh, CRM area page. If I go into CRM, what you'll see down the bottom in the setup area is the Outlook setup wizard. Now to do this, in this particular case I'm logged in as Nancy, um, you have to make sure that the email address is actually set up against uh, Nancy. So if I go into the Human Resource Management module and if I go into the Employee Details, if I just do a quick find on uh, for Nancy as the user that I logged on to, so this in this case Nancy, um, if I go into the contact information, you'll see I've got an email there for Nancy uh, in this this particular case. Now, if you were doing this with your uh, own uh, Outlook, for example, you'd install Microsoft Dynamics AX locally on your machine as a developer install. You could actually put your own email address here and synchronize to some folders on your own uh, Outlook, for example. In this particular case, I've got a demo environment set up. So, in this case, uh, Nancy's uh, email address is fine and the contact information. So, if I go back to CRM, so I'm in the CRM area page, for example. So, if I scroll down to the uh, setup area. I've got Microsoft Dynamics AX Outlook and I've got the Outlook Setup Wizard. So if I run that wizard you'll see that it picks up the current logged in user as Nancy. Okay you'll see that I've got the Outlook user identified and then I can pick the Contacts folder. So if I go across to Outlook I can pick Contacts. If I go back then I can pick my Task folder. If I go back, you'll see that this is now being filled in the, the specific folder names. I've got one more, which is the calendar. So if I pick the appointment or calendar folder and click it here. So of course in Outlook, um, I'm using the default calendar, contacts and, and task folder. But you could actually go and create new folders within your own Outlook storage to store the contacts or tasks or appointments specifically from uh, Dynamics so to keep them separate from y your core sort of email from a demo point of view. So if we go back here you'll see that I've got the the three different folders set up. I can simply go next and then I can uh, finish. Now if I go back to Dynamics AX you'll see if I go back to my leads um, uh, actually if I go back to the contacts for example you'll see I've got the Outlook contact. So if I click on this first contact here, Aaron for example, I can click on that and add that to my contacts. Now if I go and add another one, for example Alex, I can add Alex to my contacts. So I've got a couple there. Now if I go back to my CRM uh, main menu, you'll find down in the periodic activities you've got the Outlook synchronization. So you can either run this manually by clicking the synchronization or actually log out of Dynamics AX and then log back in and it'll synchronize. So I'm just going to run it manually. So if I click OK here, you'll see that it's going to synchronize my contacts and um, task items and you'll see that the the, um, the details have been synchronized here. So if I go into um, Outlook, if I go into my contacts, you'll see that I've got um, Alex uh, set up here as, as the contact, um, as one of the contacts that I'd actually synchronized. Um, so if I go into tasks, um, you see it hasn't synchronized any tasks, so I don't have any um, set up and appointed to me, for example. So that's the quick uh, demo tip on how to set up the Outlook synchronization with Microsoft Dynamics AX.